Welcome to the East Atlanta Village Farmer's Market. My name is Jonathan Tesher, and I'm the director of the East Atlanta Village Farmers Market. Yeah. I've never liked radishes until I like. Oh, really? I tried that. It was really yes. Nice. The mission of the East Atlanta Village Farmers Market is to promote healthy lifestyles and, and local economies. An extension of what we feel our, our job is to also have a presence in the community, educating people about you know why it's important to eat healthy, why it's important to support local farmers, how to prepare local foods. The East Atlanta Village Farmers Market partnered with McNair High School, located three miles from the market, to do a week of programming encompassing health, nutrition, food preparation, herbs, both medicinal and culinary, as well as music production and self-expression. <laughs> Gaia Gardens is a certified organic urban farm that is an acre and a half in vegetables and half an acre in blueberries. And it's a wonderful resource for learning about farming right in the middle of the city. Carrots, yeah, Lacey, you're right on. Carrots with the ones that are waving in the wind, the little green ones. Um, we did a walk around the farm learning about what grows here. Um, at the farm, what it means to grow organically, what it means to eat locally. If you don't understand the roots, literally and figuratively, of where food is coming from, um, it's hard to really, I think, feel connected to it and understand, like, why is it so important? Well, I like to say I, I learned a lot about the soil. <laughs> yeah. Okay. How different is between the Georgia soil and how you mix other dirt up to create even richer soil and stuff like that. Nice, thank you. The next day we brought in Afia to do a cooking class with produce that we picked up at the farm the day before. Y'all not ready. Let's take a look at your recipes. We're gonna start with the greens. Today we were uh, teaching some kids how to cook with the season and about seasonal foods and we made collard greens and candy yams. Oh, actually, this is my first time making collard greens and yams. Not yet, but it's getting there. It was until you put the onions in there. The foods that you choose become you. Everything you eat, they say you are what you eat, and that's true. And so most of the nutrients are in the skin. That's the part that was right by the soil. I think it's gonna come out good. Because I call myself a good chef. On the next day, we brought in facilitators to, to focus on herbs, both you know, culinary and medicinal. Here, this tiny little plant right here, this is called plantain. And we're teaching how to use stuff from the garden to make herbal products that you can actually use yourself or sell. Yeah, mix it with, let's get a spoon. Value added products is um, a great way to, you know, launch a small business and make a living at it, and plenty of people do. It's important because it gives people more of a sense of autonomy and self-determination. I also like how she said she put it in like an economics term, you know what I'm saying? You can actually make money off this. I took it on to another level with that one. Just think what we can do if we just would have put all our containers together and just market them. You know, we probably could at least have got about $300 for our class. And that's amazing. On the final day of the program, the teens had an opportunity to write and record a song about their experiences during the week. Kyle the Greens, how about some spinach? It's something about music and communicating that kids just really cling to. 
On Wednesday, we made some bubble bath. I gave it to my mother for her bubble bath. When she got out, she was feeling real clean. I didn't clean my room, but she still ain't me. And to be able to make food and healthy food and make it cool with music is just like, you know, it's the icing on the cake. Live long, you must be strong, you wanna live long. You must be strong, you wanna live long. You must be strong, you wanna live, 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 live. You must be strong, you must be strong. I think that all of this needs to be a, a continual, stable part of the uh, McNair High School Culinary Arts Program. I really, really would love to see that incorporated. This week has been phenomenal. It's what I really think teaching is all about. I, from 27 years ago when I started teaching and I wanted the students to be involved and love what they were doing in the classroom, this has been a week of wonders.